Hey golfers, it's Dave from Fits You Golf. Today I'm going to do a review of the Moment 11 Putter, uh, latest offering from the Golf Works. Now before I get into this, let me give you a disclaimer. I have not hit this putter outdoors. We've had an early end of the season here in the Northeast, and I'm not sure when I'll get outdoors to putt. But I did hit a variety of putts from, um, from various distances and speeds indoors, and I think I collected enough data to give you a reliable review. But maybe in the spring I'll get out there and collect some more data once I've had a chance to take it on the course. But let's get into the specifications. Okay, so this is a uh, mid-sized mallet putter from the Golf Works. Um, it has a really nice uh, orange finish. It looks uh, a little more bronze in person than in the pictures. It features the ball in motion alignment, which the Golf Works is using on a lot of their putters now. This helps to extend the aim line far back uh, into the putter, and it's really easy to, to aim as a result. The name moment, I assume, comes from the fact that this has an extremely high moment of inertia, and it really feels very stable and, and resistant to twisting when you, when you putt with it. Part of the way that they achieve that high moment of inertia is they uh, milled the, the body out of aluminum and then put two heavy stainless steel weights here in the back and uh, on the sides to help to uh, improve its stability. The face has uh, kind of a, an unusual um, oval pattern of, of grooves uh, that are milled into it and uh, as you progress out beyond the sweet spot there's more surface area. The grooves become more widely spaced and so that helps to hit um, better ball speeds on mishits um, and combined with the high MOI um, I found that I hold a lot of putts that I otherwise I thought I would have you know missed either just short or or a little bit right or left. The uh, head weight comes in at uh, 375. Mine measured at 374, which is excellent. So this is for me this is the sweet spot of a putter that's going to be uh, anywhere between 32 and 34 inches. In terms of this build, I uh, I made it to be face balanced. Sometimes uh, when I make a mallet putter I like to put a single bend shaft in it so it has a little bit of toe hang, but this one I made uh, kind of as it was intended to be face balanced. I used a, a quarter uh, offset shaft on this because I don't like to see the offset. The recommended shaft is a half shaft offset. Um, the, uh, the way that the shaft meets the head is that um, there's a bore instead of uh, over the post and I kind of like that. The uh, advertised loft on this is 3 degrees. I measured mine at 3.4, which is perfect because I was going to add a half a degree anyway for the greens that I put on. Um, I uh, made this to be 33 inches, and it has a Lampkin uh, sink squared grip on it, which has some nice orange accents. So uh, I fell in love with this putter from the, the very first putt. Uh, it it felt soft. I started with a soft ball, a, a, a Cirxon soft feel, and then I progressed up to a Q-Star, a, a Pro V1, and eventually tried it with some harder balls like a Top Flight and a Max Fly. And um, when you get into those those balls with the harder covers, it, it clicks a little bit. in part because of that ball in motion uh, aiming on the top of the putter, it's extremely easy to aim. I was making um, a higher percentage of putts putting with this than my, my usual gamer. All right, so the uh, pros and cons. Uh, for the pros, I'm gonna say that the price is a pro. I built uh, this one for just under $100. You can get a club pack for uh, under $100 that comes with a super stroke grip. Um, I think for the type of putter that this is and its performance, that's a real bargain. I would put this up against, you know, any three, four, five hundred dollar putter from the big names any day. Uh, I think the look is spectacular. I personally like the design of this one with the, the angled kind of uh, wings here. Um, compared to its uh, two other similar sized siblings. 
um, but you know that's a matter of preference. I really like this color. It's different than anything else you'll see. It's, it's really eye-popping. It drew me to it right away. And then of course finally the performance. You know so far I'm just really loving the way that this feels and the way the ball goes and how it handles miss hits. Just a terrific performer. If there's a con I would say that the the head cover that it comes with um, feels a little a little cheap. It's kind of a thin uh, vinyl. It is padded on the inside and it's a velcro closure. I prefer a magnet. Um, less likely to get caught on clothes and things. Um, but it, it's certainly uh, adequate. It's cushy enough. It'll protect the club when it's getting jostled around uh, in the bag. Um, I'm more kind of concerned about how it holds up uh, in the weather. But, uh, you know, time will tell. And again, that's a, that's a really minor con. It's not going to detract from the overall impression I have of this putter. So for a rating, um, this is a solid eagle. This is uh, my new favorite putter. Um, it's, it's a terrific value, a terrific performer, um, and uh, I you know, really urge you to try it. It's, it's, uh, it's really terrific. So post your comments below, let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, stay positive in this weather.